Colombo and its suburbs during the recent past have developed into a major economic hub with a fast-growing satellite. The average number of people who enter and exit Colombo per day is over 800,000. Around 13% of passengers use the railway as the transport mode to move in and around Colombo and its suburbs. The government of Sri Lanka intends to improve the railway system and to electrify it. All four major lines within Colombo suburbs are earmarked for improvement under the Colombo Suburban Railway Project, CSRP. Among these four lines, the Kalani Valley Line has been prioritized. The Kalani Valley Railway Line, popularly known as the KV Line, was introduced as a narrow gauge railway line during the British period. In 1993, the KV line was widened into a standard broad gauge line from Colombo to Avisail. The daily passenger volume is between 14 to 15,000. The current KV line is an arduous route with a large number of curves. <laughs> The maximum speed limit of the KV line is 40 km per hour. Even that speed is also not possible to maintain owing to the poor condition of the track. In some places, the speed limit is as low as 10 to 15 km per hour. The KV line from Maradana to Avisavela is 60 km in length, where there is a station or substation at every 1.5 to 2 km distance with a total number of 30 main stations and 20 substations, which are decades old with minimal facilities. Presently, the rail passengers of the KV line during peak hours are used to traveling in overcrowded compartments, facing tremendous hardships and agony. One passenger load on one train at peak hours equals to that of two trains. Today is a Saturday, we get a lesser crowd, but on weekdays, we can't travel with this amount of ease. As government servants, we have an eight-hour work shift. We spend another two hours to reach home. That's an additional four hours spent up and down on a train. Being in the Colombo district, we spend such a long time for transport, which is really a loss of time. If this time period can be reduced to two hours or one and a half hours, the train commuters can save several hours of traveling. The passenger pressure is aggravated in crowded stations where people rush to their workplaces, causing further delays and sometimes this makes them face even life and death situations. The main restriction of the KV line is its route running through urban areas with a crowded population and also a demarcated ROW for railway development. Within the 35 kilometers from Maradana to Padukka, there are 114 level crossings which include 89 RDA and PRDA LA level crossings and the rest are private and unauthorized level crossings. Along this section of the rail track, there are five private level crossings. If they are removed, we won't have any access to our houses. If the proposed train service operates every five to six minutes, we won't have any access. We prefer if the new rail track is built on an elevated line enabling us to walk under it. Nine kilometers of parallel roads also exist within the railway land. Here we travel for generations. Now there are more than 500 houses and all of them need an access road. The present project was initially proposed to be an elevated track. Now we hear that it is going to be an upgrade. We don't like to sacrifice any piece of our land. All these have increased vehicle queuing and generated heavy traffic, which tends to waste commuter time. 
the railway land is occupied and used by people for different activities. Most of them are residential units, while some are commercial units. There are also mobile vendors. The design of KV line considered both engineering and social factors. The design requires only 12 meter corridor from Maradhan to Malapalle and a minimum 14 meter corridor from Malapalle to Paduk. Uh, taking this into consideration, the KV line development will be confined to the railway reservation along the KV line. Land acquisition will be done only if it is extremely needed by the design. The underserved communities with deteriorated lifestyles live in a limited space, about 100 to 350 square foot housing units. When their family extends, they divide the same house into separate units and live within the same space, with additional people and several families, but do not have access proper facilities such as water, electricity or sanitary facilities. In some houses there are two to three families, no room for family members. That is what happened. There is one house with three to four children who have no space. There is no privacy for husband and wife under one shelter. The children living in these squatter families are faced with issues relating to education, health and decorum. Most of these squatters have dwelt for about 20 to 40 years and various socio-economic subcultures have evolved over the years. These subcultures have given way to their employments, livelihoods and income sources, both legal and illegal, leading to subtle and complex social and human issues. The youth prefer to leave this place because their lives might be ruined if they remain here. Drugs and liquor is very much prevalent in this culture. Therefore, they like to live in a flat or an apartment leading to a better lifestyle. All these people living within the project areas will be relocated according to the Government of Sri Lanka Acts, Regulations and Policies and the Asian Development Bank Safeguard Policy. Accordingly, the living standards of these affected people have to be maintained at their present level or upgraded to a higher level, while their current socio-economic ties have to be maintained during the resettlement process. The designed KV Line Railway project offers a unique opportunity for the passengers who travel by various modes of transport to enter the city of Colombo comfortably by modern electrified train after parking their vehicles in multimodal centers and major stations along the line. The ultimate benefit of Kalnimal Line Railway project is not only for the railway passengers, but will generate spin-off benefits to a wide range of people. That is, by way of creating increased land value in the area, provision of better housing units, for about 1,600 families in the railway corridor and creating business opportunities, especially in the elevated section of the railway line. The ultimate benefit of the KV Line project will be the providing of a fast and comfortable mode of transport for a vast majority of passengers, leading to saving of their time and money and making a contribution to the upliftment of national economy of Sri Lanka.